My name's Harry and welcome back to Drum Electric. So in this video we will be looking at how to import samples to the SPDSX Pro with a memory stick. So first things first, the memory stick that I am using is just this really simple HP one funnily enough, just an 8 gigabyte memory stick. It's really nothing fancy. It's super old, but it, it does the job. This is where I hold all of my SPDSX samples. So you want to plug this into the back of the SPDSX. Once you've done that, then we can head into menu, all the way over to backup, and then down to format. And the reason we want to do that is because then the SPDSX Pro will format your memory stick to exactly what you need it to be. You just hit enter, format USB memory, format. Simple as that. Once you've done that, then you can start to load samples onto your memory stick with a laptop. I won't be doing it in this video for time, but the good news is that unlike the SPDSX, the Pro will take any format and convert it to the right thing. So you don't have to worry about it being a 16-bit WAV 44.1 and all that sort of stuff where the SX is really fussy. The SX Pro is not. So once you have your sample, in this case I'm going to be using it on a blank kit, it's super easy to do. You plug in your memory stick into the back of the SPDSX Pro, hit tools, go down to wave import, hit enter. As you can see it's found the memory stick and it can see the 1980 clap 1.wav that I have on there. You're going to hit enter, it's going to highlight that and then you're going to hit the import button. Are you sure? Enter, it's importing. Import complete. As you can see, it's now sample number 1554. So rather than now going out and going into the pad and changing where it is, what I can actually now do from here is where you see it selected, hit assign, which is the bottom right button under the screen. And now I can actually assign it directly to a pad without faffing. So I want to assign this to pad five, which is like the middle pad on the SPDSX Pro. So to do that, it's already selected. I can either use the plus and minus buttons or this very fancy control knob, which is even better. Go all the way to pad five, Layer A, because that's where I want it to be. Hit assign, assign completed. I'm just gonna check it's there by hitting the kit button. And there it is right there, pad number five. It's a wonderful time. And you can do that with as many audio samples as you like. If you have any questions or comments, please lob them in the comment section down below and I'd love to help out wherever I can. And apart from that, I hope you have a fantastic day.